Greetings, greetings, everyone. This is the Truthful Rise. Back with a new video. I uh, hope everyone's doing well on this fine Thursday, September 6, 2012. As a lot of you know, uh, these national conventions for the two political monopolies uh, well, one happened, uh, I think it was last week, and now the other one is happening this week. And while I haven't sat there and watched any of that foolishness, uh, from what I have seen, there was no difference, there is no difference, between either of these conventions and, uh, for you pro wrestling fans out there, WWF, I refuse to say E. Uh, one uh, Monday Night Raw episode 1000. There's no, there's no difference. You, know, you got a whole bunch of legends coming out, hype the crowd up, try to put the new guys over uh, to build up for the championship match. The big match. It only happens every four years. Andre the Giant for the Republicans and Hulk Hogan for the Democrats. It's the exact same thing. And to hear these political whores, and what I mean by that, some people may call them Democrats and Republicans. I prefer to call them political whores because they're being pimped. They're being pimped mentally. Some cases financially and ideologically in terms of them thinking that, uh, one, that, that it, this is real, that the way of, of their pimp is best. And then they argue, and, and, and some of you people who are watching this may fall into this category, and I said it earlier today, of whose pimp can beat up who's pimp. That's essentially um, what these debates are really versions of, you know. And it's just stupid. You sound stupid. You're sitting up here arguing about people who don't know you, who don't care about you, who would sooner step on you to line their pockets, which, oh, that's happening already. Silly me. But yet you think that these people really have your best interest at heart. When Corporation X gives <clears throat> politician Jackson a hundred thousand dollars and you send him fifty two dollars, who do you think he's gonna listen to? Who do you think has his ear? The CEO of Corporation X can call politician Jackson and go sit down with him. You think your $52 can do that? I think not. And that that's, just, that's such a, a simple, a oversimplified illustration of what's going on. I mean, and I'm saying this because up until six years ago, I thought that there was a somewhat of a difference that that voting really counted but I had to look at the political climate where you had it doesn't matter if the names are changed or still be the same one group in power um, who proceeded to tell everybody basically how the the in group was ruining the country and once we get in, we're going to reverse all the damage that they've done and blah, blah, blah. So they get voted in. And not only do they continue what the previous in-group was doing, but they ramp it up. So then the out-group says, hey, you voted us out. And you see what these bums are doing? When we get in, we're going to fix all this nonsense to start with get things back rolling. And of course you fall for the okie doke and you vote that group back in and 
the same thing continues to happen. Why in the hell would you think something has changed now? Why would you think that? You continuously, we fall for this nonsense every two, four, six, and eight years. And to think that somehow now something is different is just foolish. I mean, if, if I use the pro wrestling analogy because it's the best one I can find. I mean, if, if, if you you watch wrestling and you can see what, what's happening. At least the, the you know, people can say what they want about people who watch professional wrestling. At least, and actually, um, you watch from time to time. I watch uh, TNA. But anyway, um, at least we know that the outcome of a given match is already predetermined and pre-booked. We know that. The problem is, political whores don't know that. But you think this whole thing is real. That these people are really out going to bat. When Politician X shows up at your church, to which he hasn't been seen at for four years, gets up there, uh, you know, sweet, sweet, whispers sweet political nothings in the congregation's ear and they go wild go wild and then you don't see him for another four years that's called a hustle ladies and gentlemen you are getting hustled and it doesn't matter if you are a democrat or republican it doesn't matter and let me say this to my brothers and sisters out there who continue to grab their ankles and take it from the Democratic Party to think that somehow that this group is better than the Republicans. And I'm not defending Republicans by any stretch of the imagination. I am apolitical. But to sit there and think that they have the interest of the black community at heart. Hey, you clowns, I will tell you to do some real research on the Democratic Party that might change your mind. I'm just saying, while you tell, you know, think that we should vote for them monolithically, and they ain't done nothing for us either. The only people that can do something for you, for us, is go look in the mirror. You'll see that. To think <clears throat> the concept of somebody else being able to make things better or save you is so ridiculous and you shouldn't trust it to anybody not a politician not an organization not a deity not anybody but yourself you think you should trust something as important as that to anybody but yourself are you kidding me i mean at some point, it is, it, it, it's sobering to realize and have to accept responsibility for certain things that have happened. But it's also very freeing at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to grow up. It's time to come up off the nonsense and take back that power which is yours and stop giving it to all these things outside of yourself. I feel like I'm making the same video over and over again. I feel like I'm really beating a dead horse. But when I talk to people and, and, and hear their thought processes and what's being said, it lets me know that we have a long way to go. That critical thinking, if it, it should be on the list of severely endangered species because it, it's not a lot of it out there left. I wish I knew how to put that stuff in a can and sell it, because I most certainly would. Because it is certainly not being taught in schools. It's certainly not being cultivated at home, because so many children are placed in front of the idiot box, and that's what uh, is raising them. And we're getting a new generation of technologically savvy morons that can't think and you know is so, so focused 
is on having the latest Jordans, iPads, or overpriced tight ass jeans. Excuse my French. And, and meanwhile, by doing that, people you don't know who don't care about you continue to take on the power that you have externalized to them and then turn around and use it against you. And it's not going to stop until you decide to stop it. Until you, you, hearing my voice, looking at this video, decide that I've had enough, decide that, that I'm going to take back control of what goes on in my situation on planet Earth. And until you do that, things will be exactly the same. And before I go, before I end this video, let me give you a quick spoiler alert, okay, about the upcoming presidential election. Things are going to suck four years from now, regardless of who wins. This is the truth will rise. Wishing you peace, power, and much critical thought. Peace.